Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in to another I Cook and Paint. Today I'm going to show you how I made this vegan whipped cream using chickpeas, believe it or not. Actually, I made it from the liquid that I saved from cooked chickpeas, and this liquid is also known as aquafaba. So aqua means water and faba means beans, and it was recently discovered that this bean water that we've been throwing away all this time is actually a really good egg replacer for a lot of recipes. So if you're vegan or you can't eat eggs for whatever reason, you might want to keep watching. Now when you whip aquafaba, it eventually turns creamy, just like you see here, and you can use this to make vegan meringues and all kinds of other cool things, but in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this into whipped cream, and you know what guys, it's actually really delicious. So to make the aquafaba, I started off with 2 cups of dried chickpeas, and I soaked them in cold water overnight, and then the next day, I drained them and gave them a good rinse. Then I put them in a pressure cooker and added in 4 cups of fresh cold water. So you want the chickpeas to be barely an inch below the water's surface. If you use too much water, you're going to have a wimpy aquafaba. Then I sealed the cooker and I turned up the heat and let these cook for 30 minutes. If you don't have a pressure cooker, don't worry. You can do this in a regular pot, it's just going to take a lot longer to cook. When they were finished cooking, I allowed the pressure cooker to cool down naturally. I didn't release any pressure or run it under cold water. I just let it sit on the stove for about four hours. And here's what they looked like. So the liquid reduced a little bit and it had a chance to congeal. Then I drained the chickpeas and saved the liquid in a bowl. And that's it. That's how you make your aquafaba. So with the measurements I just shared with you now, you should end up with about 2 cups of it, but that can vary depending on how you cooked your chickpeas. Now 2 cups is a lot of aquafaba, but fortunately it freezes really well, and the best way to do that is in ice cube trays. That way you can just pop out the cubes as you need them. Aquafaba will last up to a week in the fridge. And there you have it, 3 tablespoons of this stuff will replace each egg for a lot of your recipes. So now I'm going to show you how to make the whipped cream. I have here a quarter cup of the aquafaba, and I'm going to start beating it on high speed. And after about 2 minutes, this is what it looked like. So when it's nice and foamy like this, as an optional ingredient, you can add a little bit of cream of tartar. This isn't necessary, but it does help stabilize it a little bit. So this here is about 5 minutes in, and as you can see, it's already starting to hold peaks. A lot of people have said that it's taken them as long as 15 to 45 minutes for their cream to whip, but I found that after 8 minutes, this was already holding these nice firm peaks. At this point, you can start sweetening it, and the best thing to use for that is just plain old granulated sugar. So some people do like to pulse it a little bit in a grinder to make it finer, but if you add it in slowly enough, like say a teaspoon at a time, that's not necessary, it'll dissolve beautifully. And then finally, you can finish it off with some vanilla extract. Now the really great thing about this stuff is you can't over whip it. It's not going to turn into butter or anything like that, like what real whipped cream does. And you can use this to top some vegan cupcakes, use it for a trifle. It goes really great over fruit, and it's actually really delicious, guys. It kind of tastes like marshmallows. Now how long does this whipped cream last? Not very long. You're going to want to eat it within a couple of hours or it will start to weep. And that's it guys. That's how you make your very own vegan whipped cream. And for those of you who care, this whole bowl is only 96 calories. If you enjoyed this video and you want to get more information about aquafaba, click the link down below and don't forget to like I Cook and Paint on Facebook to keep up with all kinds of awesome recipes and check out what I'm painting because I cook and paint. I really love hearing from you guys, so don't be afraid to leave me a comment to let me know how my recipes are working out for you, and I will see you all very soon.